The night sky is a remarkably beautiful view. It is so mesmerizing that it captures one's unwavering attention for hours. But are things going to change? For how long will we be able to appreciate a pristine view of the vast cosmos? On 24th of May, SpaceX launched an ambitious project called Starlink. It contained 60 satellites packed in a Falcon 9 rocket. This was just the first launch of the hundreds that are to be launched within the next decade. SpaceX plans to make a multi-layered mesh of over 12,000 satellites to provide high-quality internet services to the remotest parts of the world. Are you all my the orbits of the constellation of satellites are designed in such a way that at least one Starlink satellite will be above any place on Earth. The closest orbit is at 550 kilometers and an inclination of 53 degrees. Look at those green dots. As you can see, this service can only be accessed between the Arctic and Antarctic circles, no services at the poles, at least for now. Here is the list of planned constellation of satellites that are to be launched within a decade. Now that you know the structure of the system, let's see the functionalities and speeds of the system. Well, let's consider we want to connect to London from New York City. What will happen is the satellite just above the two places will try to find the shortest path between them by connecting to the satellites in the path using high wattage lasers. But, you'll ask how will the satellites know, where are the other satellites? Actually, each satellite will be connected all the time to at least four adjacent satellites. Let's see some awesome facts. Starlink, due to its very low orbits, will have one-tenth of the latency that is provided by cable internet. So, real-time games like PUBG can be played with no lag at all. One of these satellites can stream 4K videos to 40,000 users at once. Amazing, isn't it? But, if it's so good, then why are the astronomers mad at Elon Musk? The answer is simple. The views of the night sky will never be the same again. Have a look at this time-lapse footage, you can see the recently launched 60 satellites going across the sky. If you cannot see them, don't cry dear. It'll show the infrared view also, which is easier to differentiate. Can you see now? Good. This is how it may look at night. Oops, earthquake. Hey, if you didn't guess already, this is many times faster than actual speed. Yes, it's fast, but it's also far away dear. Elon tweeted that he will do something to reduce the albedo, that is, the reflection of the satellites, to reduce this problem. But, still it cannot be completely removed. So, when the astronomers will take an image or observation of the night sky, there is a very high chance that, one of the Starlink satellites, may come in that image. To remove that discrepancy, they would have to take many images of the same part of the sky, at different times, and subtract that error, from the actual image. This will consume much time and processing power. So, basically astronomy will almost remain, unaffected. And, maybe we will get used to, seeing a bunch of glittery points of light, going across the night sky. Nothing more than that. What do you think? Would you, enjoy that? Comment below. Thank you for watching, if you like topics like these, you can subscribe. Bye bye, I will go now. You should also, go.